Welcome back to Waffle TV, sponsored by West Bear. I'm Ross Jennings, and this afternoon I'm with Terry Clement, who's bringing his show this year, and you're a fringe, this is your fringe debut, isn't yes. it? This is, yes, this is my first fringe. And now tell me, how has you performed all over the world so far, and what is it like being Edinburgh? Uh, it's been very interesting. It's been very, <laughs> very interesting. It's been very up and down. Um, interesting in a good way, though, I hope. Well, yes and no. Okay. I, I think the point I've, I've been getting across to people is I'm not getting this, the right audience. I'm getting a weird... Like last night, I had about 12 people. Two of them were elderly. Two of them were my parents' age, and two couldn't speak English. And so, yeah, it's a weird okay. mix. It's like I can't find people who take drugs anywhere in Edinburgh to come. It's like it's a different culture or something. <laughs> it's like more alcohol-based, whereas my show is kind of mushroom-based, I guess. Yeah. So you're trying to you're working hard for your cult status in Edinburgh because I understand back back home back home you do have a bit of a cult following. Yeah, yeah, it's I'm working hard for it here. I'm working hard for it. But you know that was last night. The night before, okay. totally different. For some reason, I had they came out that night. Yeah. So keep coming out. That's all I can say. Stoners, keep coming. Hopefully. <laughs> yeah. But surely that's a good thing as a performer having, I suppose, the best and the worst in in, in a foreign place because it really does put you on your toes. Oh yeah, I mean, my show is just, it's kind of built for that actually. It's not, it's not for everybody. There's like really weird surrealism stuff, um, like some smart surrealism stuff, some what people call dumb surrealism yeah. stuff. Um, I don't have any pretentious bone in me. So, you know, if I do something too smart, I'll try to put a joke in and text, you know? <laughs> and you do cover, seem to cover everything really. Like it was, it was hard to kind of pin you, pin you down. So yeah, and that, that might also be part of my, my problem. You'd think that that's really a, a good selling point, but I think um, if you take a look at stuff that's really successful, it's usually going in one direction, one tone. It's very repetitive. Taking one theme and then... Yeah, and I'm not even knocking it. It's just I can't do that for some reason. I'm a Jack of all trades. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe <laughs> jack off of all trades, I guess. I, um, but yeah, like I mean, sometimes I write horror stuff, and sometimes I write comedy stuff. Sometimes it's kids stuff, and... I just put all the stuff I like together. Check it yeah. Now, this year, have you got? Is there one thing you're tending towards at all, or is it literally just everything you're going? Yeah, through? it's pretty much just a, a giant mix, like a one-man variety show, yeah. really. So uh, it's a, for audiences, then it's probably quite a good thing. It sounds like an excellent thing to go to if you're just not sure what you want to see. Well, yeah. I mean, you gotta you gotta have a. If you get offended at comedy shows, it's probably not a good show to see because it's very dark and and dirty at times, and that's the thing is some people. And <laughs> whimsical. It's like sex, death, and whimsy, basically, is the basic theme, I guess, of the show. Yeah. So there's people that love the whimsical stuff and then are turned off by the horror and vice versa, you know? And there's people that don't like the songs and then there's people that love the songs. It's completely it's unpredictable. Yeah. Well, that's probably the fun of it, isn't it? <laughs> no, that's my whole show is unpredictable. And now, after the Fringe, have you got any plans to tour around the UK or are you heading straight home? No, I'm going to go straight home uh, and uh, I'm working on a book. So I'm going to continue doing that and uh, continue performing. And wherever the wind blows me is where I'll go, pretty much. Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for speaking to us today. And best of luck for the rest of the Fringe. And this is Ross Jennings and Waffle TV, sponsored by West Bear. Don't forget, you can catch Terry Clement at 8.05 p.m. at the Underbelly Cowgate. See you.